Um, I guess I'll have to ask, this is sort of a Hill Harper question. Is there an, oh, I guess all of you can answer. Is there a difference between an artist and an entertainer? Natori? Hello? Okay, okay. Sorry. Um, I think, um, yes, I think there is a difference between an artist and an entertainer. I have been a recording artist, um, you know, when I was a teenager. I'm still young now, but um, I've done that. And it's, it's very easy to sometimes just, you know, do what, let's say, the record company wants you to do. And you can be a recording artist or any kind of artist um, as long as your work is creative and free. But entertainers don't necessarily, you know, aren't always artistic and aren't always creative. They can get up and be fun to watch and entertaining and do some great dance moves and, you know, take off a shirt. I mean, it's entertaining. You like, turn to Channel 7, girl, he's on. I mean, whatever it is, you, you may watch it, but it doesn't mean that they're artists. And I think that the distinction is an artist is, is uh, creative and wants the audience to connect with whatever their work is, whether it's writing, singing, you know. And an entertainer is just trying to get I think a more personal drive to get people to watch them and to be entertaining. So it's kind of, you know, you can be both, but I think there is a difference. An artist is a lot more creative, I think, than just being entertaining. It's the creativity first and then the entertainment second. I, I think there is a difference, um, but I don't think that there is necessarily a difference if one is better than the other. Um, and I think that they can be embodied in the same person as well. But I think that the, the, the difference is, in my mind, is that an entertainer is someone who wants to have an immediate impact, an immediate effect. So there's an immediacy to it. It's almost like a big splash right now, where an artist, I believe, attempts to create art that has some type of lasting impact, that, that stays around, that you can go back to it and go back to it. And whether if someone watches the movie The Godfather when it first came out, or watches the movie The Godfather in, in a hundred years from now, it, it doesn't take, you know, you can see that the performance is artistic, the direction is artistic, the writing is artistic, the production is artistic, and so, and there's a difference, and, and, and part of the problem I think we're experiencing in this industry now is that there has been a greater weight placed on entertainers and entertainment, because if we're going to do the Godfather movie now, um, and I'm not dogging these people, but I'm saying they would not necessarily cast The Godfather today the way they cast it then. They'd be casting it to make an immediate splash on opening weekend and not be thinking about people seeing the movie 30 years from now. So, you know, um, Snoop Dogg would be in one role and, um, so, and I'm not, not taking anything away from him. Yes, you are. Because he, no, I'm not. Because he has drawing power as an entertainer and as a personality to open a movie. But you, but his acting skill set, he's not an artist as an actor. He's a musical artist. And so you may listen to his music 20 years from now, but you're not going to necessarily want to see his movies 20 years from now. Do you understand? And there's a distinction there. And so that doesn't mean that he's wrong for taking those roles. If, if you're offered something to do, and they're going to pay you to do it, and you enjoy doing it, then you should do it. But it's more about the executives and the types of decisions they're making in today's very short-term thinking universe of entertainment. And that's the distinction in my mind.